Here we are in lovely Philadelphia. The home of Two Phase Electric. We're going to attempt today to put a transformer down this set of steps. As you can see, it's only about 36 inches wide and it has a steel grate up top that we're going to have to cut and lower the transformer down to the deck. Roll it in on a dolly. And place it in place. Here is the existing Pico transformer. It's two phase. Lines run down to the building. The line go off the well. And success. All the welds broke. On the grass, Frankie. Or weeds. Final preparation. Well, that's our lift. It's an old engine lift with a chain block. The lift can do two tons and the transformer is only 790 pounds. And that chain block can do it. So we got more than enough. The question is, 
how is this going to fit through that hole? Grab that washer too. Here same distance, same distance. Got it. Got it. All right. Got it. 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 Oh boy, that's sweet. We got about a, an, we got about a half an inch of space. Oh, you're just going to make that change. Yeah. There's no trying to distance coming over. Well, we need to get this boom. You're talking, I got to drop another three feet. Yeah. So I may have no, to. No, no, no. You're not three feet. You're only, uh, how far down is he? He's not Two. that far. Uh, a yeah, foot yeah, and a half. Yeah, but you, yeah. Can't, you can't swing the transformer with the boom up because it'll flip this over. Yeah. You want to wait down there. All right, then you're going to have to start dealing with the hydraulic nail. Are you at the step? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, we're, we're not at the last step. You, oh. Why are we climbing? I wanted to see where we were at. All right, raise it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right, now you're going to have to start doing it with you know, the hydraulics. Yeah. A little bit of time, then you got to yell up. Hold on, Dan, you're not under the far step yet. There we go. Go ahead. Slowly. Go ahead. Get the corner. Hold on, hold that, hold that. Push, yeah, push on the boom up there, Frank. Push on the top of the boom so that we don't tip the whole thing over. Yeah, like, this push this way. I gotta get the Do blower. Push, push the boom towards me. Just hold it so it don't tip over. Yeah. Because we're pushing you. that way. Oh, I got you, go ahead. Yeah, so we don't flip the uh, thing over. You're almost down on the dial. Okay, let her down. All right, we're square. Are you square? Yep. Bring her down. Good, Zach? Yep. Move your hands, Zach. They're not under it. All right. Four. You were touching it. We already got some yeah, weight on it. Let, let it down some. We should have sweeped down here before we put it on it, but oh well. Okay, we're down. We're down. Yep. 
Huh? Get a, get a screwdriver and take that clamp off. And we can lift that drain out of the way. Oh, shit. Right there. Screwdriver right there. Here. How about your ink pack tool? You got a bit? Yeah, right over there on the side of the. If that one's not. That one's too big? The transformer is going to sit in this area. That's the load side, which will be three phase, delta, and this side will be the two phase. And this will be our main distribution panel for the HVAC system on the roof. Frankie did a nice job wiring it. Pretty big transformer for a small area. Before we even tip, slide it that way. All right, guys. We need a block of wood under the wheels. Right behind you, Zach. A cake. 800 pounds right spot. Well, we got the transformer downstairs. And now we're hooking up the wires. This is the high side. H3, H1, H2, H4. The low side would be X2, X1, and X3. So I'm just cutting the wires now and I'm placing them here temporarily and eventually I'll bolt them down here. That's uh, just keeping them out of the way there. That strip down there only grounds the frame. That's not that's not the equipment ground. But this ground, the low side ground, and to the transformer will all be grounded. Well, that's our new disconnect for the conversion of two phase to three phase. As you can see, our lines go through the trough and as that one's bugged in, we're going to bug into those wires there. We'll hit the two blues over there and the two reds are here. So we'll have to 21 newly mail. 
we'll probably have to uh, dig that out and maybe take care of it somewhere in here.